fullback for the Jewish Special Sailor, uh, which is Lucas Alcaraz uh, from Levante. We've really enjoyed the past couple of days, and this is now when I start to talk slower. <laughs> we have, yeah, he's learned uh, it's a habit that we talk very fast, so any questions that we need to ask, we just try to take a little twang. A uh, slow dive. We, a bit. we, we try. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, as I say, it's great that we've sort of filled the room. Really, personally for me, I think we should be filling this room and jam packed even more to have such a top guy here. But I think we need to change the mentality of coaches in this country that we have a problem that it's great and we praise the guys that are here. But sometimes maybe people are interested in a live game more so than they come down and educate themselves. But it's great to have so many young people in this room that want to come down. They're really excited for the coaching session, of course, but they were keen to come to listen to the talk as well. So we're really excited uh, to see it as well. We've had uh, BJ, that's just in the second row here, a Dutch coach uh, flying in for the event, and also the Mike, where is he? Uh, Mike, who's over from Fleetwood Town. Let's see where Mike is. Make us here somewhere, but so it's great that we've actually have people that's been flown in uh, for this event as well, and it just shows you the high esteem you know we hold you in, and we're very very interested to hear your presentation. So I'm going to pass over to Mr. Alcaraz now. What are you hoping to get from today? It's a question that I ask myself whenever I prepare a chat and when I give the chat. But it's a question that I ask myself too when I'm sitting where you are today. How, can, how could I take advantage of this chat? Possibly learning new tactical behaviors. Possibly uh, learning how a Spanish professional coach works, perhaps exchanging information with other colleagues. I'd be happy if everybody takes one idea or one some, or something interesting from today. Good afternoon. I'm Lucas Alcaraz. I made my living working as a professional coach from kids to first division. Firstly, I apologize because my English level isn't good enough. But I could uh, use a translator, <laughs> but I prefer to take on this challenge uh, for two main reasons. The, in one hand, for respect, to the language, to the country where the talk take place, taking place. And on the other hand, because I always say to myself, you have to put your soul into football. And it's very difficult to translate the words that come from the soul. In fact, speaking English could be my answer to the question, what are you hoping to get from today? I'm going to explain my work methodology. In summary, about tactics in professional football. We are going to, to watch a, a video when I was in Greece uh, in a match. We scored a, a goal at the end of the match, and we had to make a substitution. And I thought, no problem. I have a translator, and he can explain to the player what I want from him. But there are a little problem. <coughs> Crazy striker. <laughs> <laughs> the problem was the translator ran to the corner <laughs> to 
to celebrate the goal. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the player and I were in the hard white right line. Crazy time later. But he's a, a great guy. Well, I explained the player in mix of Spanish, Greek, English, body language. It was a funny moment. <laughs> but the language isn't the only problem. The next uh, video is about uh, a Spanish player. Uh, he played uh, for the national team recently. Um, I asked him to stay in the 10 yards line in front of the corner taker to force him to lift the ball over him. He didn't understand me? Um, he stood here, far away, huh? and I in the half time I asked him why didn't you stay at the ten years line? And he answered me. I was wondering what the line was for. <laughs> <laughs> he played recently in the national team. <laughs> how, uh -oh, how to get throw to the player? To the player. Which is better? Team talk? Team unit chat? Individual chat? Um, where to do it? Where is the, the better moment? During the week? The day of the match? I explain how, do I, how I do. A very important moment. At the Madrid was better than us. Technically, was better. Physically, was better. Practically. And we couldn't lose. We need to be a brave person. And I thought in Rafael Nadal, for me, it's a brave person. In the half time, my assistant set up the, the work and choose the images. Sometimes I ask him for, for another different. Uh, it's uh, very important to take advantage of this view, of this perspective, because we record the, the first time. Um, sometimes we, we show one or two images, uh, one or two players uh, to clarify doubts they have. Visual training. This is a control tool for evaluating for evaluating the visual training. <laughs>